Scorpio, this is all about you. I'm psyched. No, I am. I'm like happy to be here with you guys. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It's energies for Scorpio. This is an energy reading, so you can apply these energies to wherever Scorpio influences your natal chart. You can for the next seven to 10 days. Whenever you see this, these energies sort of surround you for the next week or so. So just know that when you're watching it. There's not exactly a date on it, but I do try to get to you once a week, right? Love you guys. So let's go into your full, uh, let's trust in that you got to take a dive, man. You got to go deep, deep. Understanding yourself, understanding who you are, loving yourself, like really get real. This is some major healing. It could also mean you're about to dive into the deep end. This is you, whale energy, trust the great mystery. You know, it's like the most amazing thing you could ever say is I don't know. Right? This is you diving in deep, diving in deep, taking a plunge. This could be a plunge of faith, but I don't think it's just about faith. I think it's about you're ready. You're ready to not have to think about it anymore. You're ready to not have to worry about it anymore. You're ready to, um, for it to be an imperfect situation, but still get your full attention right? You're ready for it not to be perfect and you're ready for it not to be easy. You're diving in the deep end. You're taking that full breath, right? Because remember, when whales dive deep, they can't breathe under there. It's got to be, they have everything that they need to take themselves down, down, down into a much more hostile environment because they can't catch that breath of air when they want it, right? They can't just easily like flip and, and, and play. This is not a playful circumstance. It's not a playful situation. And if you look at the card real, real hard, six, five, six plus five is 11. So this is awakening, awakening to your depths, awakening to the reality of things aren't easy, but that doesn't mean they're not good. And no, this is not about staying in a stinky relationship. This is about really forging your path and, and making something of yourself. Now, Scorpio has had an intense energy, an intense surge of creative energy and creative acknowledgement. There's a lot of Scorpios doing extremely well right now and making huge breakthroughs. So it's like the tide is set for that Scorpionic energy, the Scorpionic perspective in life. So if you have not dive, it do, dove off the diving board yet, it's time for you to do it. And this is the energy of just taking the plunge, taking the plunge. That's all I can hear. There's another card came out. See the big picture, but it's in reverse. Damn. Um, this is maybe you've done. Okay. I'm just going to say it. I don't know if you're going to like me for it, but this is maybe you've, you've taken a deep dive. You've dove in too deep into something that was, was more shallow than you wanted it to be. Maybe you have taken a plunge into something that you didn't know as well as you should have before you took the plunge into it. Um, this is the energy of taking a deep dive off of a shallow, like uh, into shallow waters. That's what this is because you haven't really looked, you haven't done the research or you don't really know where you are or know enough about a circumstance. You're basically, you're uh, like, turned on your back up in the air not grounded and you're only seeing what's right in front of you. That is not a good time to take a deep dive. So this is either a cautionary tale for you, a warning tale for you, like, or like, don't take this deep dive right now, get to know things better and look farther out. Or this is saying, you're just going to take a plunge of faith that you're, you don't care about. Remember what I said when I was first got, getting into this energy of you don't care about the details. You don't care about not knowing. You need to explore and find out while you're in it and while you're in the thick of things. So that's your sort of mentality right now of I'm not doing, I'm not getting the education. I'm not uh, working, working it. I'm going to learn as I go. I'm going to grow as a hoe. You know what? I, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what this energy is. It's like, I'm going to take this leap. And my wings will grow as I fall because I can't stay and think about it anymore. I can't stay and ruminate or wait. Because if I wait, 
I won't study, I'll waste time. You know, I'll just get used to that comfort zone. In other words, I need to be uncomfortable in order to grow. And I've acknowledged that now. And so I'm taking a plunge into something that I'm actually not ready for because I'll get ready for it. Because if I don't, I have to put myself into, it's like, this is the energy of having to put yourself into a situation of discomfort in order to make yourself stay focused. Really, really interesting. <laughs> really, really interesting. Now, I'm sitting here as a reader hoping that this isn't about a relationship because that could really fly into your face like that. Like, like crash dive. But, you know, fools rush in. I just saw that movie with uh, Selma Hayek and Matt Perry. I watched it. It's an old movie. Old as in like 20 years ago. Um, yeah, I watched it a few, uh, a few days ago. So this could be just speaking to something that wasn't ready, wasn't really prepared, didn't really have a lot of history behind it. But now you're in deep, really, really deep. Not necessarily a bad thing, just the current circumstance and situation. So let's see what else is coming out. Um, open to infinite possibilities. Now, this is a really good headspace to be in. And I say headspace because this is the Aquarian card. This is sort of my star card, right? So this is a good headspace to be in when you make a decision like this. Because it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I've got to be wide open to all possibilities if you went into this circumstance closed down, then I would say you're just going to give yourself a concussion or a broken neck because you just decided to dive into the shallow end. Like, what were you thinking? But with this mentality, it's no, I'm wide open. So it's like, I'm not diving head first. I'm like going spread eagle or cannonball. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to like, I just want to get down into the water right now and then figure it out while I'm down there. But it's almost like I'm prepared to improvise. I've got to be prepared to improvise. I'm open to everything. I'm open to anything happening. And that is really, really good juju. That is great energy to be in. This is like, this is just like open to infinite. This is an open mindset, wide open, which means not judging something or deciding that you know it. This is a great mindset for this situation. You've decided to not decide that you know everything. To not decide that you've got it all written down and worked out. To decide that you know nothing and that you're going to learn as you experience it. And that mindset, my friends, is key to success. Key. The abundant universe will provide. This is more earth energy because this is Taurus energy right here. So this is more earth energy flipped upside down, which means that no, you're not on stable ground right now. This is not assured, assured situation. This is not, there's no certainty here. I think that you've decided to dive in deep based on um, a hope. Ba not just a hope though, based on an instinct. And that's all you've got. But the wonderful thing and the reason why I'm not like red flagging this whole reading and saying, turn around now, Scorpio, get back. There are sharks in the water is because I don't think that you think that this is safe. I don't think that you think you know everything. The way these cards are reading is you're very, very aware of just the risk that you're taking, but you've decided that you have to take it. And there's a lot of courage there. There's a lot of courage. And I got to say, bon voyage, because you deserve it. And my prayers are with you. Not because you need them, but because you deserve them. That's the difference is... You know, we all start, we put that first toe out to start our new journey, right? And we, we, if we think that we have it all and we think that we're all prepared, it's like the well, the best laid plans are the ones that blow up the biggest and make the most mess when they explode. It's like you're packing light because you don't know what to expect. It's like, I'm not going to pack, I'm going to pack a water jug, but I'm not going to fill it with water because... I can't carry the water with me. I can't carry these resources. This is about being resource poor. You know, I don't have the dexterity to carry the water with me. I know how to make seawater into fresh water. I know how to collect rainwater. Maybe these little pills that take the bacteria out of stream water, they're easier to pack. I can shove them in my pocket and they don't, they don't weigh as much. So I'm gonna take those with me so I can pick up water along the way. That's the kind of risk you're taking in the mindset that you're in. It's like, I can't take all this with me. I can't be completely, 
completely re uh, prepared. And the resources that I have are not all stacked. They, I don't have them. I don't have them. Does that mean I, I don't go? No, I'm going. I'm going without the resources knowing that I'll keep my mind open and be able to like get the resources when I need them. So this is a lot to do with a leap of faith and big old balls, like balls so big that when you sit down, you rock back and forth. That's what I'm talking about. Big solid balls. That's what this week is about for you guys. some had to slip out the other side of course just I'm saying I'm just saying okay um so no know your worth wow that's a powerful card to get after these two cards so you may be running away from not running away from something but Deciding like the impetus in other words for this decision was that you were in a very toxic situation and you could not wait To see if you could swim because if you stayed where you are the wolves were going to devour you So you had to jump and you're like listen. I may not know how to swim right now But I could float until I figure it out Right like that was your decision So this could have been that you were up against sort of an impossible situation and forced into this decision just for even practicality purposes like just uh, it, and, and so it may not have been something that you thought about long. There's definitely not much thought or um, Like thought behind this, but it was it was into it was necessary this card showing up tells me it was five plus four is nine something had come to the surface, like some sort of information came to your realization or your understanding, or you, it finally bubbled up inside of you, sort of just popped. It sort of just came to being noticed. It came to a head. This is the realization. And this is the understanding that I got to get out of here. I'm going to lose myself completely. And that's why you took this leap. And it was not a leap that was spontaneous or no, no, reaction. It was reactionary, but it wasn't it was wise. There was a wisdom to it. I have to say there's this underlining tone of you did the right thing. So if anybody's questioning it, there you go. I love that this card just came out. And this is your central energy. The one earth card that came out is the one that speaks of the future and your ability to handle it. You can overcome any obstacle. You have what it takes. And it's because of self-love. It's because of knowing your worth. Understanding that you're valuable even if you don't smell like a flower. Even if you're black and white and not filled with all these colors. You're the dark horse and you got a stinky tail. It doesn't matter because you're valuable and you deserve better than to have to be constantly be what you're not or in a situation that hurts you. And that, that sucks things away from you, right? Takes away or drains you. You absolutely have the ability to five, change your life. And even if you're not completely prepared for the change now, you will get prepared. You will figure this out. The resources, you don't have the resources right now, but they will come as you go. And this is not just expecting the universe to sort of do everything for you. There's risk behind this. There's uh, work behind this. There's putting in that practical and getting to the grind, but you're going to do it because this is earth energy. So this is, this is not the universe is just blessing you with the abundance that you lack now. No, this is you deciding that you're going to work for the abundance that you lack now, that you'll get through anything because anything is better than right here. Anything is better than where I was, which was hurting me and holding me back. So you absolutely, this is the card that tells me you will overcome this circumstance. You do have the energy, even if you don't have the resources right now, that the, you know, that the universe is smiling in your favor or you're smiling in your favor, Scorpio. You're smiling in your favor. 
slow and steady wins the race. This is emotional maturity. It's sort of, for me, it's akin to my King of Cups. It's A, knowing your worth, knowing how to not let everybody in. You've got that shell that protects you, but it doesn't weigh you down. Little turtles swim mostly in the shallows, and they live a long time because they go with the tides when they can. They don't waste their energy, and they know that they carry their home wherever they go, and nobody can take it away from them. Okay, they don't hide in their shell. This is like mature cancer energy. They don't hide in their shell. They just have one. And they don't have to stay in one place or stay where they were because they realize they carry their home wherever they go. And that home is where the heart is, not where I pay the mortgage. And that's, it's, it's plain and simple. And if you just commit yourself to Scorpio, understanding that the doors aren't going to open up for you, you're going to have to beat them down and you're going to have to commit to something completely and fully. It's not just going to happen like in a fairy tale, the quick edited version. You're not jumping into the edited version. You're jumping into the behind the scenes version and there's a lot of difficulties and complications and I don't think you're naive to this. And that's what I said in the beginning of the reading is that you were ready to jump because you'd accepted the risks, not because you thought the risks were thrilling and I want to high for taking a risk. No, you didn't jump in like a crackhead, okay? And you didn't jump in thinking that, oh, you know, like, like a dreamer, oh, the risks are just going to be taken care of for me. I think this was you understanding completely what the risks were. You know what they are. And that's why I said, even you, even if you weren't prepared to jump, you were ready to jump. And this was, there was a wisdom underneath of, I don't, I can't carry the water on my back, but I know how to get it along the way. And I'm just going to have to trust that I will. I'll figure shit out. That's this energy. And I love it. This is such a breakthrough energy for you. I can't even tell you. I'm so happy. Um, tend to the small things. A, this is telling me that there was something that was building up over time, something that maybe you let go and slip too long, and then that's why all of a sudden your house was infested with rats and mice and poo and E. coli and you had to move out. There was something that was building for quite some time. That's what this is telling me. And that it was sort of, it's sort of giving me the backstory, a little bit of impetus toward why you <coughs> made the decision you all, all of a sudden made. But it's also saying that be prepared because in the future there's going to be tedious things that may, you just, just remember to not let them build up again. And there's going to be tedium that you're not, not going to want to necessarily deal with. Life stings. There's going to be things that irritate you and egg you on and push you further. This could be impetus from the social media, impetus from the World Wide Web, a lot of buzzing, a lot of buzzing that's always in your ear. It's about to come to an end. The irritation, because you're addressing it. Because it's almost like you can catch the wasp in the net now. You understand? Um, Ten, six plus four is that energy of something coming to conclusion. Ugh. And sweet results await. This is this is such a beautiful energy. Um, the bee gets the honey because they work for it. This is future, okay? This is you being free and being liberated from what other people wanted you to be. From you finally finding your own voice and doing the hard work that will take you to the place where you can be happy and be living your best life as your full self and not be somebody who somebody else wants you to be, but be who you want to be. This is Leo energy, fully self-possessed, confident, heart space and heart chakra fulfilled. And this is... Um, and this is Gemini energy, really knowing yourself, being self-confident, having a strong sense of self-worth, like finally having arrived. So this is a journey of not only your 3D success, but it's also going to teach you so much about yourself and heal you in so many other ways. Uh, there's a bunch of cards that came out. I'm actually going to shuffle them because I want, I don't want too much of this message. Let me see. Let me just see what all these cards would say. Um, uh, okay. Um, this is interesting. Maybe we'll do these in the extended. Because it's interesting energy that I'd like to marry with tarot. Uh, let me flip around really quickly the camera though. Hold on. 
So these are the energies that I want to start off with in the extended. Usually I go right to tarot, but there's more that have come out and I really want to address them because I tried to flip through them and none wanted to yield itself. So I think all of them have a message. It's got something to do with being caught up in this romanticized version of love, getting stuck and um, sort of, I think, resource dependent upon this concept or as a person in particular, and then basically claiming your independence from that situation. So some of you may be exiting or getting out of a long-term relationship, which it, because these are two simultaneous Libra cards, um, probably love, love, um, love and abundance, sort of uh, weaving that web, um, it's almost like finding that fine balance between yourself and your relationship and finding that right relationship, which innate, which, which, uh, where you cannot lose yourself, but you can actually find yourself and be stronger and more whole. But I think that this energy is about getting to the place where you're able to do that, acknowledging that you're not able to do that yet. So good on you, Scorpio, because you have taken the correct step and you have showed big old balls and nerves of steel. I'm telling you right now, I'm not, I'm not promising you an easy path, but I am promising you, you made the right decision to step on it. Awesome. Let me, um, yeah, I'm going to dig deeper into these cards that came out in the, the Oracle cards and then continue with, of course, the full tarot card spread and your romantic predictions too. Check out Romantic Tarot to start it off. Uh, I'll see you over in the extended. Hold on.